Okay, so I'm going to talk today about the new Nest web connection on Ethne Hub. How to use it, uh, get configured, and, um, and have some fun with it. So the first thing is you go to hub.safe.com, you're going to find this new connection. So I click on it, and you're going to find some instructions here. So I'm going to walk through those. So you'll see a URL. So if I open that, and this is this amazing little um, tutorial that um, Nest has put together that walks you through. So anyway, <clears throat> you can go through, download a Nest Home Simulator if you don't have any of their devices. Also, um, play around with the API using um, Postman. But what I'm gonna go to, since we're gonna use FME, um, and I'm gonna connect to an account with Nest Cameras, I don't need the simulator. So I'm gonna create a Nest, an OAuth account. And to do that, you simply need to go to this link right here. So I'm gonna open that one as well. Okay, and now it's going to um, um, ask me to log in. So if you have a Nest account, um, then you can simply log in. If you don't have a Nest account, then you can sign up simply by clicking sign up, enter your stuff, and then you would get a confirmation email, and then you would log in. Now to get a Nest account, you do not have to have Nest hardware. So I am going to, uh, I'm going to log in here now. And um, I'm going to first log in on an account that doesn't have any Nest equipment. Okay. Um, and this is the one I'm going to use for the OAuth. So this OAuth account will be used to tell Nest who the app is that it's connecting to. And this OAuth account can connect to any Nest camera that it is given permission to. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, log in here. Okay, I'm going to sign in, and when I'm in, you're going to see a couple of OAuth clients already. You're going to see one called FME and one called FME Blue Sky. Um, this FME one is a des for FME desktop, and FME Blue Sky is for our Blue Sky um, server machine. So first, I'm so what we're going to do though is we're going to walk through the whole thing. So we're going to create a new OAuth client on Nest, and we're going to call it. Um, FME demo, okay. Demo. Hmm. Anyway, and we're going to give it a description. This is a demo account used to show Nest. Okay, and the support URL, put whatever you want there. It's not called back. Direct OAuth URI. So in this case, we're going to say localhost, okay because we're going to call it from desktop, and on desktop you put local host. Categories, you have to pick a couple. So we'll say um, cam, okay, building, sure, and cameras, okay. Users, we're going to say two to 100, okay. And now we're going to go and we're going to pick what we want to do. We want to a, a control camera and read images. And now here is where we need a story. Now this is just a story. It looks like a, a you know, a um, really intimidating thing, but we're going to say FME, I'm going to click on here, FME demo connects is used, is used to connect and read data from Nest cameras. Okay, and that's all it is. So this is, the reason for this is this is a message that's going to be shown when a user, when I, I, it, it asks for permission from a user. So when a user goes to use this OAuth client, this is what's going to be shown. So I do that. Yep, yep, I've done that. It's all good. And now I say create. And it's going to simply, it's going to create it. And so now we're going to see here is my OAuth client. So now I go to FME Hub. And what you would do is you would download it here. So you'd simply download it here. And you would save it, you know, save the file to your downloads page, say, which we did. And so then we're going to go to FME, we go preferences, web connections, web managed services, because we're adding a new service type. And we would say import from file, and we would pick, uh, we would go to our downloads, okay downloads downloads and we would pick nest okay yeah 
we could pick that and um, and then we would we would configure it but we've already downloaded it and I you know, said I clicked open and so all is good and so now we're gonna when we do that we're gonna see this nest here now when you bring it up there won't be any client ID or client secrets don't worry these are not in these are not valid and um, because it was one I visited already and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use those new ones to um, get this going so if I ran a workspace with this one because it's deleted it in fact wouldn't work okay so um, yeah so now what I'm going to do is we're going to go back here and we have to right here we're going to copy the client ID and client secret over to that we don't have to do anything with this okay so we're going to copy that okay and we're going to paste that guy right here <clears throat> We're going to go back here and we're going to paste this guy right here. Localhost is fine and we're going to say let's test it just for kicks. Okay, So when we test it it's actually going to use a different account. So this was my um, um, the, the OAuth client account was on at say test at gmail. This is the account that actually has cameras and stuff so um, you can see here's my message okay if I hadn't done this before I would have seen this and it's um, so then I would have had to log in and this is the OAuth client through FME asking for permission to access this nest account so hopefully that's clear and the password okay and now I'm going to sign in so now it's going to ask me, and this is the, what I just entered, FME demo was used, to, and I'm going to say, hey, that sounds good, I like that. And so now I've, um, yep, it's been tested, I'm going to save it, and away we go. So now I have this, this uh, nest one here. Okay, I could create a, a different nest here if I wanted to. I could simply click plus, and then I would have, you know, if I wanted, say, Dale's nest, I could have Dale's nest on that as well. And each one of these lines here would be identifying a different web connection to a different Nest account. Over here, each one of these is a um, different OAuth web service connector. So there's just a slight difference there. Okay, so I'm gonna say okay. Now in this guy here, um, if I look at the connection it's using, it's using eMurray Nest, so I say okay, that's good. So now what I need to do is I need to um, edit that guy. So I go here, Emory Nest, and I need to edit the connection. And what that's going to do is that's going to get me to reauthenticate. And so now I say allow. Okay, so now that I've gotten the OAuth connected, I'm going to run this workspace. So this workspace uses the data connection only once, and it's right here, get all devices. So with this very simple URL, and I specify the web connection to the one that I just configured. And it's basically going to, um, it's going to run all the way through. It's going to get all the devices. And then I'm going to fetch the images using the image fetcher. Um, it does not need any authentication because the URL that's in the nest body that's returned is public. Okay. And so we're going to run this. And then we'll see that I'm able to retrieve um, snapshots of all those cameras that are associated with this account. So, And then the last part to do is we will show you how to configure this on FME um, server. So there we go. And I can iterate through and the cameras and uh, yeah. That's that. So there you go. So that's as easy as it is to configure um, the Nest and use it to actually read things. So now let's look at uh, server. So we have blue sky we'll go to. Okay, we'll go to blue sky here. And you're going to see, I'm going to log in. <clears throat> that workspace is published up on blue sky. And 
active. This job is running all the time. And if I look at the connections here and the web connections, again, under Go Manage Services, you're going to see Nest okay, right here. And here is where we still have the same description. We obviously published that. And now this is the redirect URI that is always the one. It's basically, and it describes that there too. So there you go. And so now what I'll do is, so now you know how to use that. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create some um, transformers I'll push to the hub that make it easy to do some operations with uh, the nest. So set your thermostat, read your thermostat, see if the heat's on, see if the heat's off, turn, you know, things like that, as well as with cameras. And you can have fun. Of course, um, you have the whole nest API at your disposal as well to do anything else you want to do. And now that FME makes it easy to connect to Nest, you can have lots of lots of fun.